Hello. Today I'd like to talk with beginning cello and bass students about how to read pitches on the music staff. You know, there's so many different elements to learning how to play an instrument at the beginning of the school year. You have to learn how to hold the instrument and then how to hold the bow, and there's so many things to think about. But today we're just going to focus on how to read pitches on the music staff, so that when we look at music in our music book, we know what we're looking at and we know what notes to play. So let's get started. The musical alphabet gives letter names to the notes called pitches. When we're talking about pitch, we're talking about how high or low a note sounds. The musical alphabet includes the first seven letters of the alphabet: A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. After G, the cycle of these letter names repeats itself, and the pitches keep on sounding higher and higher: A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. These musical pitches are placed onto a music staff, which is made up of five parallel lines. We can tell what pitch we're supposed to play by how high or low the note is placed on the music staff. When we look at a musical note, one of the most important parts of that note is called the note head, which is the round part of the note. If the note is placed on the music staff with a line going through the note head, we call that a line note. If the note head is placed in the space between two lines, we call that a space note. So we have space notes and line notes. But how do we know which note is an A or a B or a C? That's where the clef becomes so important. The clef indicates a certain system for where each pitch is placed on the staff. The treble clef is generally used for higher sounding instruments like violin or flute. The alto clef is for middle-ranged instruments like the viola. Cello and string bass players read the low notes written in the bass clef. In this video, we'll focus on the bass clef. The bass clef is sometimes called the F clef because the two dots go above and below the F line. So here's the note F. Since we remember that the musical alphabet is made up of the letters A through G. And since we know that the F is here on the fourth line, the note G must be in the space above it, and the A is the line note above that, and so on. Now, there's a couple little tricks to help you remember the names of the line notes and the space notes on the bass clef. Let's take a look. The line notes of the bass clef are G, B, D, F, and A. To help us remember that, we can learn the phrase "Good burritos don't fall apart." Remember to count up from the bottom of the music staff. Good burritos don't fall apart. G B D F A. The space notes of the bass clef are A C E and G. To help us remember that, we can learn the phrase "All cows eat grass." Remember to count up from the bottom of the music staff. All cows eat grass. A C E G. Now, in our beginning strings class, we won't need to remember every single one of these notes right away. And today, let's focus on some of the first notes that we'll need to be able to easily identify. And I want you to think of these notes kind of like sight words. When you're first learning how to read, you probably learned some sight words that you could easily identify. And I want to consider these notes to be the same kind of thing. So we can consider these to be like sight notes. For our open D string, the note head is placed on the middle line of the music staff. For A, like the open A string on the cello, the note head is placed on the top line. Can you test yourself to see how quickly you can identify these D's and A's that will show up on the screen? In between the D and the A, we have another line note. Can you identify this note? Did you remember that the line notes are G, B, D, F, and A? So this is the note F. For beginning cello and bass, we'll often call this note F sharp. So now, can you test yourself to see how quickly you can identify these Ds and As and F sharps that will show up on the screen?
Now let's think about some space notes. Do you remember the phrase we used to remember the names of the space notes? All cows eat grass for A, C, E, and G. So that would mean this note is an E and this note is a G. Can you test yourself to see how quickly you can identify these E's and G's that will show up on the screen? So to put it all together, the first five notes that would be the most important to identify are D, E, F sharp, G, and A. To help you get some practice identifying your D string notes, I've created a worksheet for you called the D string worksheet, and I'll put a link in the description below to the PDF file. Your parents can print it out for you. Or for my students, I'll give it to you in class and it'll be due for homework, the D string worksheet. And to review everything that we've talked about in this video, I'll put a link in the description below to a PDF sheet that's just the review sheet of everything we've talked about. Now for teachers and for anyone else who might want to know, I'll put a link in the description below to the videos for the treble clef notes and the alto clef notes. As always, I hope this information is helpful for students and for parents. And best wishes to you as you get better at reading notes on the music staff. And I know you will. Thanks for watching.